Okay guys, so today we have a uh, Ferrari 360 Challenge Vidal S-Class at the Nürburgring Night GP course. So this first turn is usually a complete shit show. Let's see if we can survive. I'm trying to go conservative, but as you can see here, other people aren't. Uh, so we all combine into uh, one point in space and time. But somehow I come out um, still okay. So yeah, we're just heading through. As far as this car goes, um, it's an S-Class tune, obviously. It has no arrow, um, so it's just straight up. I would say its strengths are probably its acceleration, and uh, it's okay with handling. The one weakness is its brakes. At least compared to the handling. The brakes aren't bad, but they're not great. So that's one thing that kind of sucks on this track. There's a lot of hard braking, but as long as you hit your markers, you can do okay. So I'm still up with the lead group. This guy went wide. And um, it doesn't look like anyone in the lead group is crazy, insanely fast. So I might be able to do some damage here. This guy went through the dirt. So, I get another position there, and uh, I'm closing up on the guys in third and fourth. So it's still early, no need to go nuts, uh, there's no, I'm not in danger of any rammers or <coughs> any lunatics, so we're just going to keep going. Now we get into this chicane brake perfectly there so I mean the brakes they rated low but I mean I have them set up well they they work well enough and now we're headed through the last turn to start the second lap ran a little wide there <coughs> I think the uh, Aston Martin Zagato is behind me so we'll have to watch for him but I don't think he's gonna ram me or anything nutty I nail the breaking point in that turn and I'm able to make a little progress uh, closing up on third and fourth. This complex, it's always tough. I, I've, uh, you know, I, I used to do this track a lot in Forza 4, but I never really liked it. It's just, it's, uh, it's a little too hairpinny and low speed turns for my taste I really prefer flowing tracks but you know you got to do what's in the lobby and and uh, be competitive at all the tracks so um, but yeah this car it works pretty well even with the somewhat weak brakes I'm able to close up in the braking zones and um, yeah we are pacing these guys well enough. This turn is a place, or this uh, chicane is a place where arrow would be nice. This guy went off and lost his drive, so I'm able to get another position. And I can see, obviously I'm closed up on third, but I can see second too, so maybe uh, we can really do some damage here. I think I got punted from behind by the guy in fifth, but I think I was just a mistake. So, yep, coming back up to this tight second gear chicane. I go a little too deep, but I'm able to recover. Thankfully, I didn't punt uh, fifth place off. Ooh, although I think I might have ran him a little wide off the track. That's a narrow section of the track. Yeah, he's not able to recover, so... Um, we got the Aston Martin back in fifth, and I'm going to see if I can catch up to, yep, I'm caught right back up to this F40 in third. Been able to match his pace, or close the gap on him over the last two laps, so hopefully I can make something happen in this uh, last lap. Feeling the pressure from behind. Yeah, he punched me a little bit, but I think that's just an honest mistake. I'm, 
I'm not good through that section, so I'm not surprised that he's faster than me through it. Um, wow, he is really, yeah, I think you can see there that this car is not great on the brakes because he closes up to the point where he almost rams me. I think he had to really back out there. Um, but I'm looking ahead, seeing what I can do about this F40. We close up on him on the brakes, so that is pretty good. Making some progress there. Put a little gap uh, to the guy in fifth, so I can just focus on um, getting ahead of the guy in third. So we're coming up to this right, this uh, left. Sorry, I look up the inside. Um, he's able to keep the outside and get the inside on this right. I get punted a little bit by the guy in fifth, but again, just racing. Um, this lap, not great. I'm slower by over a second and a half, which is not great. But uh, I'm able to keep up with the guy in third. Ooh, that was a mistake. I thought he was gonna get better drive, but obviously he didn't so we got up into third not really the way that I wanted to um, but you know all in all even without that not a bad race oh and I'm able to recover uh, about a second back so I definitely had more left in this lap I probably usually I'm good for like a 205 or maybe a low 206 here so we'll see what the lap times were like with the rest of the field and my best my best time. I know it just showed, but we can look at it again. Oh. It'll come back up. Alright, get my uh, get my check here, please. Thank you. And uh, looking at the lap times. Yeah, I think I was good for like a 205 here if I really race clean so now we are in a fun car this is another s-class race i'm in a alpha 4c wow look at that beetle on the right <laughs> that is nuts that guy's fast he's always in that beetle um yeah so i'm in an alpha 4c with uh i think it's a f1 v8 swap and i am into the lead thanks to the chaos somehow I had like a force field around me and I was able to make my way up so now we're in the lead but the question isn't getting in the lead it's holding on to the lead and you can see behind me this LFA he's able to get settled and start closing the gap watch what happens in the braking zone he's able to close probably about a hundred feet on me so this car, um, you know, it's light. It's probably like 1,800 pounds. And I think the engine makes 600 horsepower. So it's just like, it's just like riding a Tasmanian Devil. I mean, it's, it's just out of control, but it's a lot of fun, something different. And I have it tuned just well enough to where I can manage it at a respectable pace. It's still, you know, the short wheelbase makes it pretty squirrely. So you got to be careful. And uh, it's not the grippiest, I guess. You can see he's kind of got the drive, or he's got an advantage on me in the corners a little bit. But, you know, 600 horsepower combined with 1,800 pounds. I mean, check this drive out. I have good traction in this car. It's sprung a little soft. So I'm able to just pull a gap on him out of the, that corner. That 100 feet he got on me breaking into that turn, I'm able to get a lot of it back on the straight. Although he does have the top speed on me. You can see the gap closing uh, towards the end of the straight. But at the beginning of the straight, I really have to drive on him. So it, it's an uh, interesting contrast between the two cars I think the LFA is more of a typical um, typical s-class car it's just more well-balanced but you know this is just like 
it's just a rocket. It's so much fun. So, so, so much fun. So we're surviving. Uh, another thing is Catalonia. It's a track I used, I, I've done so many laps. So I've probably done like a thousand laps on Catalonia in Forza 4. I do a lot of testing there because it has a wide variety of turns. I mean, you have a lot of elevation changes. You have uh, heavy braking. You have sweepers like this, fourth gear turn. Um, you have straights, so you do need power. So you kind of have to tune a car to do everything to get a good lap time here. And it's just good practice for a wide uh, variety of tracks and turns as well. So I know this track pretty well. I'm, I'm usually able to get decent lap times here and, and do well if I don't get reamed by uh, rammers. But somehow we've survived. So um, yeah, we're just going through here, just riding, driving defensively, managing the gap and uh, seeing what we can do. So my lap time here, 154 not phenomenal high 154 and other cars you can see he's catching up to me here I think he doesn't have aero so that helps him um, towards the end of the straight even probably with less horsepower but um, what was I saying before oh yeah I ran a 154 here I've been practicing more um, with other cars, normal cars, and I'm usually, I think I'm good for like, I should be doing 153s in the lobby. If I do a time trial or a hot lap kind of thing, I can dip into the 152s. So, this car is not the greatest, um, but again, it gets the job done, and we're winning. So, ooh, he bumps me here. I think I got too conservative on the brakes. He backs up though. Didn't run me wide. Was still able to move forward. So now we are basically at the last third of the track. I'm able to pull on him with that that kind of medium speed drive. Not bad. Nail the braking. And that turn. That's a key turn. Ooh, get excited here get the tail out a little bit he's respectful I think he's planning to maybe make a move on the chicane but I take a defensive line here I take a defensive line at the chicane as well to hold him up and he gets a little sideways you can see in the mirror and I'm able to get good drive and finish the race in first so, yeah, again, not a great lap time, but, you know, if the car were faster, this probably would have been a boring video. I, I wouldn't have uploaded it. So it was a good battle. Um, had fun. Won a race. And, um, you know, can't complain. So that's my lap time. There were some faster guys. They just got reamed in that crash at the beginning. Um, anyway, so that's the race, the video. Um thank you for watching please comment and like and uh, subscribe if you want uh, let me know what you think I should improve on here thanks bye guys see you in the next one